In this video, I am going to show you a little about audio ducking with LumaFusion. So we're going to start off with a video tutorial that I am working on at the moment. First off, I think what we need to do is go up here to this little question mark up here. You see there? And you need to go to Project Settings. Now, I know that this has been covered by other people, but I just thought maybe that this will help someone out there that may not understand somebody else's um, tutorial on this. So, okay, we've got our ducking start time. And what I figured out on somebody else's video uh, tutorial on ducking, audio ducking, is... I think that it went down to um, 0 0.08 and I don't know what the numbers need to be on this but if I remember correctly it's, it was somewhere around that <coughs> excuse me and then the duck start time or start duration uh, needs to go down to Hold on just a moment. Point 20. The duck in time was a negative uh, negative point zero eight, and the duck in duration is point 20. Can you see that? And then the volume, what they had it set on was, uh, you can set this to anything you want to. I was just going by what they had it set on. So point twenty three, somewhere in that area. So when the volume, when the voiceover occurs, the music will decrease in volume. And then it will come back up to the regular volume when the voiceover stops. So we've got this set. And you can ex just experiment to see what sounds best for you on these numbers. Okay. Now we go back to the voiceover. Double click on the, on the voiceover. And it will bring up this page. And we need to go to Configuration. Okay, do you see that? Well, the voiceover needs to be the master. So click on master. You see that? Okay, go to master. Now go back up here. And then double click on the music. On the configuration, the music needs to be auto. And this sets the whole entire project at these settings. Okay. Now go back. I want to show you something before we play this. Okay. I want to go back to this and put this on none. And go back and put the music on none. And I want to play it for you. So you listen to this. Okay. Welcome to Miss Kelly's Corner. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this video, I am going to show pictures and tell about our tent camping vacation in 2017. Okay. Well, that does that just shows that the music was not decreasing in volume. Let's go back to the beginning and go back to the configuration. So double tap, tap on that. Go back to the configuration. Make the voice over master. Make the music auto 
And now I want you to hear this again, and it sounds so much better. Welcome to Miss Kelly's Corner. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now, one thing that I forgot to do, I did do this voiceover as master, but I did not do this one. So you have to go to all the voiceovers, go to configuration and make them all the master. So if I go on down here, they all need to be set to master. So now let's go back to the beginning and play it. Welcome to Miss Kelly's Corner. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this video, I am going to show pictures and tell about our tent camping vacation in 2017. Okay, so that is part of that, the audio uh, ducking. But there is something else you might want to do that if you did not want the whole entire, whole entire project set to decrease in volume on all of the voiceovers or on the whole entire project, Maybe you want just one particular one to be turned off completely, or let's see, let's go on to this one. Let's just say that I want this one to be turned down more. Double tap on the voiceover, or on the, I think that was the voiceover. Let me see, yeah, we need, you need to go down here to the music. Double click on that. And it will bring up the music right here. And so let's just say that you wanted it to start decreasing even more so than before. This is just another way of doing this. Um, go over here. And if you wanted it to start at the time that we clicked on that, then you need to click on that little plus sign. You see that? It turned it into an X right there. So see that plus sign right there? Let me see if I can get closer. There is a plus sign right there. And when you start on that, you click on that, and it will turn that to a blue X. That means it's going to go down in volume even more so. And if you want to go even more so, so if, let's just say you want to go at five seconds in from this. So you would go, this is set at 18 right there. Let me see how this goes. Okay, we want to go that way. So let's go to 5. And now it is 18.05. 18.05. So this will start decreasing. Okay, let's just see here. We need a, we've got the 5. Click on that again. And we need to go to the volume, and we want it to go down at this moment. So it's set at 18.05. Go down. Let's just say we'll go down to 20, negative 20. Now, I'm not sure that I will keep it at this. I'm just giving you an example that if you just wanted one particular area to be decreased in volume, that this is a way to do this. Okay? So if you'll look over here, let me move this out of the way. Do you see that, the little line there? Um, let's just see, right there. That's where we made it go down in volume even more. So let's go back up here to the arrow and this is our page that we're at now 
and you can see okay see that see that little line right there that is where it's going to decrease in volume even more so let's go back to the end here and you can do that also so we want to start the ending time back to the original volume see there I've got it set with the where I want it to stop so you double click on the volume the music I mean and so here we are again I want the music to go back to the regular volume at this point so here it is you click on that to make that a blue X now we want to have the volume five points or whatever you want to set it at before that there we want to have it start increasing in volume okay you see there now it's a blue X again and we have to come back over here now see this volume this is the volume that it was set at to decrease at, uh, to so at this point we want to go all the way back up to zero now if you'll look at this let me move that out of the way do you see those lines there that's where we started increasing in volume and now here it is set back to the original volume okay let's go back up here to this back arrow and you can see do you see that right there that little line right there is where it is increasing in volume okay let me see if I can let me squeeze this in here now you can see the whole thing on the screen there's where it was decreasing right there and you come over here and it is increasing in volume does that make sense okay that's just if you want one particular area now let's go play this in this video I hold on let me go back just a little bit more okay I am going to show pictures and tell about our tent camping vacation in 2017. Now you could tell it decreased, but let's do the whole thing. Maybe you can tell a difference in this and then the other. Welcome to Miss Kelly's Corner. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this video, I am going to show pictures and tell about our tent camping vacation in 2017. Now, did that was that a little bit quieter? Let's do this again. This one right here. appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you now this one should be a little quieter in this video I am going to show pictures and tell about our tent camping vacation in 2017 now I think you can tell a difference in that in the volume that last one was a little more quieter I don't know maybe you could tell a difference I think I could so okay well that's our video for today if you have any questions just comment and let me know what you think and maybe I can if you need me to do maybe a better more uh, in-depth tutorial on this just let me know watching this video here at Miss Kelly's Corner I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.